Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to today's video and today we're gonna go over more of an IRL type of video because as you may have noticed in the past month I haven't really been streaming or making that many videos at all and this pretty much all revolves around what has been happening in my life and I kind of wanted to share it a little bit because in addition to just being a PoE channel I want this channel to be more of an IRL and pretty much everything in terms of my life and different games that I will be playing with still PoE as the main focal point so as you can see here this video here is of my dad playing i think this is ping pong well not that i think but i think this date is roughly like uh eight or nine months ago and as i said before sanctum was one of my favorite leagues i had a blast playing it and i until real life happened like real life does happen my parents are relatively old and i never really expected that their health would be that much of an issue but on december 30th while i was streaming i received a call from my mom it's kind of a life-changing call. Now, I know this is pretty much difficult to share for myself personally, but I do think that bringing some awareness to cancer is kind of important and it lets you connect more with me and understand why I haven't been around as much. But at least this is the view of the hospital. It looks pretty nice. I am located somewhere in Southern California for anyone who is interested in stalking. But let's go on about what actually happened and why I have been MIA. So the initial diagnosis was that he was admitted to the hospital. Now, I did know that he had kind of a persistent cough going on. Now, for anyone out there, if you have a persistent cough that's been lasting months, you should probably go get it checked out. Now, he is known to be a little bit headstrong. So usually when you get like some sort of symptom, you never really think of the worst case scenario. You think to yourself, oh... I'll get better, right? And then one month rolls by, two months rolls by, three months rolls by, and then you it gets worse and worse. And then eventually you're forced to go to the doctor or the hospital. So he went to the hospital eventually for a persistent cough that had been going on for months. Now, at the hospital, the reason why the cough was happening was because there was fluid in the lungs. And the fluid is caused by these cancerous cells. Now, for people who don't really know what cancer is, and I don't really want to turn this into some sort of medical talk, but as anyone who's played PoE a lot, you do your sort of research in things. PoE is definitely a game where you do tons of research. You try to look at all ways to make a build better, and you try to plan around. And a lot of people actually probably spend more time in path of building than actually playing the game. So I did my research. I do have a little bit of a medical background as I took a lot of college classes in pre-med and biology and organic chemistry and all sorts of stuff like that. But cancer is basically a disease of aging and is the development of abnormal cells that divide uncontrollably and have the ability to infiltrate and destroy normal body tissue. So what this means is that normally when you have cells in your body, your cells will not stop dividing infinitely they'll die off naturally and they'll repair itself or something like that but for cancer this abnormal cell keeps dividing over and over again and eventually they form a tumor and the tumor can spread throughout your body and when the tumor spreads throughout your body is known as stage four so when they took my dad to the hospital, they did a CT scan, which is kind of like a scan of your body. With And then they also took some x-rays and they saw a mass in the pancreas. And since there was fluid in his lungs and they did a study of the fluids from the lungs and they found out that it contained malignant cells or that the fluid contained cancerous cells. The doctors pretty much feared the worst initially that he had pancreatic cancer and it was stage four and that it had already spread throughout the body into the lungs. Now, in terms of cancer and how it works is that even though it spreads throughout the body, cancer is always known as where it's orig originally formed. So if you have pancreatic cancer and it spreads to your lung, the tumor in the lung is still considered pancreatic cancer and not lung cancer. So that's just a pretty important distinction. So once it spreads, it's known as metastasis or whatever. I don't really know exactly how to pronounce it, but these are pretty much all of the diagnoses that he got. Now, this is like, you look at this list, it's like how many problems can one person have, right? So you have malignant pleural effusion, which is the liquid in the lungs, and then you have lung cancer, you have hepatitis B, a pancreatic cancer, you have dyspnea, which is pretty much shortness of breath, thrombocytopenia, which I think is low platelets, and then he had diabetes initially, you have metastasis to the lymph nodes just means that the cancer is spread to the lymph nodes and the lymph nodes is what carries the cancer throughout the body 
And then you have anemia, which means you have low red blood cell count. And then you have hypertension, which is high blood pressure. So the list goes on and on and on and on. So you can see here, these are the dates of diagnosis and when they actually found out about it. So important thing is, is that you saw the mass in the pancreas. So you think that the cancer came from the pancreas. Now, why is this of note? Well, pancreatic cancer is probably known as one of the most deadly cancers in the world, or it is the most deadliest cancer. Now, if it's the diagnosed as stage four, I think there's a five-year survival rate, which means for out of 100 people, five years later, only three people on average will survive. Now, the estimated survival rate, once you get diagnosed in stage four, is roughly three to five months. It's extremely, extremely rare for someone to live like past the year after you've been diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. Now, for a lot of people here, you probably don't even know where the pancreas is, right? You think of pancreas and it's like, where is that? And that it was definitely me. I was like, what is the pancreas? What does it even do? Is it even important? Can I just cut out the pancreas? And is everything going to be fine? Now, the pancreas is actually like behind the stomach or something. And I and I, I, it's not like, and then it's just behind the stomach and this cancer is kind of a silent killer. And because of where it's located at, you don't really feel any symptoms until it's already spread. And like the only symptoms that you usually get is like jaundice, which just means you kind of turn yellow. And then you also have maybe some abdominal pain, but it's very, very hard to actually tell. And this is an x-ray of what the lungs actually looks like when you have the fluid in the lungs so because of the fluid it makes it so that it's all whited out so right here this is what the normal lung kind of looks like and when you have fluid it's completely whited out now judging by what i said right if you have pancreatic cancer you're gonna be gone roughly in three to five months so what so at that point i was pretty panicky i didn't really feel like streaming that much i was spending all my time with my family and that is what it was so on the second time, he got admitted to the hospital because when you have the fluid in the lungs, you can get it drained out by the doctor, and the, but then the fluid will build back because the cancer is still spreading uncontrollably. You're not taking any chemotherapy. You're not taking any drugs to stop the spread. So it's kind of like a stopgap solution. You're taking it out the fluid, but then it's just going to rebuild back up. But they did take a biopsy because they wanted to make sure that it was pancreatic cancer. Now, when I asked the doctor... What's the chances it was pancreatic cancer? He literally told me that it was like 90 plus percent. It was almost guaranteed. However, when they took the biopsy from the clavicle because there was a tumor in the supraclavicular lymph node, which is right here, like your clavicle area. So when they did the biopsy, they found that there was a mutation in the tumor that only belongs to lung cancer. And this is known as the EGFR mutation. And he actually had EGFR lung cancer, which is actually kind of common for Asians who never smoke. I don't really know why. But the miracle thing about EGFR lung cancer is that EGFR lung cancer has a very, very good treatment that's relatively new. I think it came out in like 2018 or 2017. And currently, the survival rate roughly is like three years. You can like do five years maybe. And at this point, it was pretty much a miracle. Like, I actually did not really know what to do. And the worst part about it is you go into something without any hope. I look up everywhere online. It's like you try to look up a POE bill and they're all bad, right? You try to make a bad skill work, like a conversion trap or something, and it just doesn't work because no matter what research you do or what you try to theory craft or think of, when you look at pancreatic cancer, the numbers are dismal. There is nothing you could possibly even do. It's pretty much a death sentence. But for this thing, there's actually not a sort of cure, but it's definitely something that works. And luckily to this day, the pill has been shown to have effects and it is working currently. Now for how long the pill will last for progression-free survival, which is how long it is before the cancer starts growing again, I think it's somewhere from like one to five years depending on the person like cancer is a very very personal illness like there's no like one size fits all solution so it's very very dependent so fingers crossed for me that it lasts a lot longer than like one year in the last three years and then later on maybe three years down the line technology is getting a lot better that there is something else that will take its place and he can live 
a lot longer and have a great life, right? That's what I really hope for. Now, the thing about this pill is that, yeah, it's called Tegriso. Now, this pill costs around $500 a pill. So a one-year supply's worth is around $200,000. Now, insurance does cover a lot of the cost, but I think out-of-pocket still around $3,000. That does bring me up to this point is that some of the cancer treatment is so prohibitively expensive that it is actually just sad. Like you see that you have a drug that can literally save your life and you find out that it costs around $500 a day in order to take it. And that's just something that is really priced out of the reach for a lot of people. So I hope that by sharing this story, it does teach people to kind of value the time you have for your family members and maybe to not ignore some like lingering pain or health issues because you never know. Like for pancreatic cancer in its case, the number one way for a higher survival rate is just to catch it early. Now, I don't know if you guys know who Steve Jobs is, but Steve Jobs also had pancreatic cancer, but he caught it really early on. I think he lived for eight years and that's just the way it goes. Now, I will be streaming again. I am looking forward to streaming Diablo 4, starting with the open beta. I will be streaming PoE 3.21. And for the League starters that I kind of want to try to make work is definitely Tornado Shot, Spark, and Venom Gyre. I think at this point, I have learned that in PoE, people like playing certain skills because they're just fun to play, right? Like People love the mechanics of Tornado Shot. People love the mechanics of Spark. And people love playing Venom Gyre. And I do think that having people play a really fun interactive skill is the best way for people to enjoy the game. Now, I am trying to explore making text-based guides similar to like Max Roll. I do think that having information being consumable in text and video format is super, super good. And in terms of Diablo 4 content, I will probably be making some, I don't, I don't even know, guides because I'm probably pretty dog shit at the game because I really know nothing about it. And maybe I'll make some more potentially new IRL updates just to see how it's going and give you guys some updates on what's going on behind the scenes. But hopefully everyone found this video a little bit interesting. I know it's not the usual PoE video, but I hope it does explain a little bit of where I've been and the struggles of real life and maybe enlightened you a little bit about what cancer is because at when I first found out, I didn't really know exactly what it was, but doing some research on it really shed a lot of light. But thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you're looking forward to D4 or if you had your own personal battle with cancer. And I'll try to reply to all the messages. But thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you find more mirrors and divines than me. And see you next time. Bye.